Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Cameron Hammerker with Boom Create TV. Today we are going to carve rocks. So I was inspired to do this project by a couple of videos I've seen online about people carving rocks. I wanted to do it because A, we're carving rocks and B, the tools that we could uh, use for it are usable for other things as well, other great projects. They're pretty cheap to get into, and so I hope that you enjoy this. So the purpose of today's video is just to get you into rock carving, just to get you an idea of what tools you might need and what the different little tools do. Um, this is going to be carving probably for smaller rocks, uh, so we're not going to get into big sculptures or anything like that. Little projects you can do around the home with not much space and uh, very little investment into the actual tools. I'll have links in the description to all those tools. So the first thing you'll notice is that I'm just making marks on this rock. I'm not really doing anything. I'm not sketching anything. I'm just seeing what marks can be made on the rock and what the different tools do. Because that'll only give me an idea when I go to actually make something of what tool my tool can and can't do. And if I have a tool that will actually make that mark. So this strategy of just figuring out what marks your tools make is really key to learning any art form I've found. Um, basically what you're doing is just understanding what your tools are capable of, what they can do. If you spend a lot of time at the beginning just messing around, just figuring out what marks can be made, what you can do to be a little bit more creative, you're going to know a lot more when you get into the actual art side of things. You're going to say, well, what kind of mark should I make here? Or, well, I need to make this kind of mark, and what tool do I have that'll make that? So really art, for the most part, depending on what you're doing, is all about the marks that your tool makes. So it's, it's really simple. I mean, a crayon, if you take a crayon and just scribble with the end, what does that do? What if you sharpen it? What if you cut it off and dull it? What if you take the wrapper off and rub it around without the wrapper on it? Um, there, what if you melt it? Um, there are tons of things that you can do with different tools. It's just finding their limits, and that's what I'm doing when you initially see this carving that is nothing. So that was a lot of fun, just working on the stone, just seeing what kind of marks I could make. Uh, a lot of fun just to put that together real quick. It, you can't screw this up, so I mean you definitely want to experiment with this. You want to make sure that you get an idea of what your tools are doing. And now we're going to move on to the next thing, which we're going to carve a quick project out of this. Rock right here. So with this first small project, what I'm going to do is carve into this rock. I'm just going to get some ideas and you'll see me lightly sketching on the rock. I have a basic idea of what I want to accomplish, but I'm lightly sketching to see how it's all going to come together. You'll see me start kind of close to where I think it should be and move out a little bit to refine the line. Uh, so I'm not making marks in the outside of this rock. Uh, th this sketching process is really a, a great way to start any art project. Get these light lines in, understand how things are going to move around the piece, and ultimately just understanding of what you're trying to accomplish.
So we're done, and uh, this is what the end project looks like. So I didn't show you that I painted it with just some satin clear stuff that I had sitting around. Uh, it doesn't really matter what brand. Uh, it doesn't even matter that satin, you could have used gloss and gotten a bit more shiny. A couple notes on this. I think that this size, starting with something about that big, just to make marks on something you can hold in your hand is a great way to start. I think starting with something about that big, maybe a little bit bigger, um, maybe not, is a great way to start because it's small. So this is one of the basic principles of art. You start with something small. And you do this with thumbnails, you do this with sketches. You don't want to go with a big sketch, you want to start with thumbnails. And I'll do a video on that later, talking just about thumbnails, about sketches, how to sketch, how to start drawing. Because you want to get things in fast, you want to have some quick successes. And if you're building something big all the time, you're just not going to succeed as quickly. So start small, make it easy, be able to throw it out the door. It's just a rock. Don't go buy rocks to start out. Just go find a rock. Um, you'll be surprised what you find. Really, honestly guys, a lot of fun. The basic, I mean, you can't screw up because this is your first project and you can't, you can't fail guys. This is the awesome part, is no matter what you do, it's gonna be better than doing nothing. You get to create something, you get to make something, and maybe you discover a passion for something that you've never done before. I am taking you on this journey, letting you see me try new things. These are things I've never done before. Um, letting you see me make my mistakes and make the wrong things and, and screw up. And you, you saw, I mean, at the beginning, you saw this thing, which is just like me messing around with the mark making tools. You, can, you just have fun, have joy in the creation process, have fun creating these things. Don't worry about how good they are, how bad they are. Don't worry about how much they would sell for just have fun making these things so thanks for watching i want to do a lot more of these videos uh i want to do some more rock carving some different projects so look for that in the future with some more rock carving i've had some ideas on what to do next um i'm taking you through and i'm showing you me learning the process and me learning how to do these things um you're gonna see my failures you're gonna see my successes and it's gonna be a lot of fun to put this together Hey guys, some of you have been asking where you can get awesome t-shirts like this. This is me acting skinny. It'll look way better on you. If you go to www.boomcreate.tv or www.boomcreatetv.com, both of those will get you there. It looks like saltygxts.com. Don't be confused, it's still me. If you do anything, if you buy anything there, that will help me a lot. It helps support my videos, helps support this channel, helps support poor little old me. So hey guys, click that logo if you want to subscribe or you can click the subscribe button and definitely click that bell because you're going to want to know when new videos come up. We're going to be doing a lot of fun things. So stick around, have fun, watch videos, do stuff. Oh, I'm such a nerd.